Huh. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. We have probably shot more Russian shotgun slugs than anyone in the United States. Some of them have performed very well, some so-so, but we can all agree that they're some of the weirdest designs in the world. Today we have a shotgun round called the Trio. While these look to me like three peas in a pod, they're three lead balls in two Sabo halves. Now each ball is pretty substantial, measuring almost 12 millimeters in diameter. And I guess the idea is if one projectile is good, then three projectiles should be even better, right? And of course, since these came from Russia, the literature that came with it is all in Russian. And it kind of shows you how it's loaded and all that. Though the design of these seems to be quite solid and it seems like it would work well, the reputation about these is that they're not very good rounds. Fortunately, a viewer named Alexi was kind enough to send us these to test out, and we'll find out why they have such a bad reputation. Today, Greg will be shooting for us, and he'll be shooting at the ballistic gel targets at 10 yards. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. At only 10 yards, none of the balls hit the gel. As you can see, the Sabo halves are screaming out of the barrel, but the lead balls were kind of stripped away and are flying at a very low velocity, probably maybe 300 feet per second, if that. Now to me, this seems like something that is almost impossible to occur. The Sabos just would not grip onto the balls and just went flying off at a really high velocity leaving just the balls to just kind of carry on at their merry leisure. Now I load these into fairly mild shells, federal birdshot shells. Nothing uh, high velocity at all. So the first test was not very impressive. One of the balls grazed off the table, the other one went through the table so my wife's going to be really mad at me. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on and see if this trend continues. Okay, wooden blocks. Whenever you're ready. Hey. I got something hit there. Got that. Block number one. The thing went in. What the, the heck? Quarter of an inch. What's wrong with you, Russia? And then one of these must have hit the vest, I think. I'm not sure if that's it or not, but hit the vest and landed on the ground right there. <laughs> and once again, the Sabos go flying out probably 2,000 feet per second right out of the barrel and here comes the balls. Now the Sabo halves I believe are made out of nylon. They're a very tough plastic and it's just very odd that it they would accelerate faster than the balls and just kind of leave the balls uh, to their own device inside the barrel. Now if anything it really illustrates how much force the projectile is under when it's being fired down the barrel. But the good news here is we didn't hit the table this time. Okay, I'm ready. What the heck? We'll stand down here and catch this thing. Yeah. Okay, let's try the long range test. Okay, 50 yard long shot. 52 yards actually. Hit it! <laughs> I saw one just down at his feet. Yeah, I just saw it too. <laughs> well, the killer clown has survived. <laughs> Lives to kill again. Yes. Hit it! <laughs> we probably could have just thrown that lead ball and got about the same results. Let's try another. Uh, gel test, but this time only five yards away and see if we can hit him. Huh. A lot of noise and not a lot of recoil. Huh. The Sabo. The Sabo there. Those probably do as much damage as anything. Yeah, it's all compressed. The best I can tell, there's nothing in these guns. There is. Let me 
got a little streak. Yeah, you can see little streaks through here also. Now this shot was taken at 17,000 frames per second with the Kronos 1.4 high-speed camera. Here comes the first Sabo. There goes the second Sabo. And the first Sabo is bouncing off the gel. And, and, <laughs> here comes the balls. And it, surprisingly, they actually went through quite a bit of gel there. Now, we didn't have any preconceived ideas of what these would do or what they wouldn't do. But it's very apparent that these are some of the worst projectiles we've ever shot out of a shotgun, as far as factory rounds go. And they're definitely, uh, they definitely live up to their bad reputation. And I'm sure that the results that people are getting in Russia are just as, just as horrible. But here's one website where we found them for sale. And the funniest part is the rating that uh, people have given it. 12 ratings and it almost has a 5 star rating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my playlist featuring a bunch of weird shotgun rounds that you've probably never heard of before. Thanks again.